सो हेलो गाइस टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अ डीएसए प्रॉब्लम व्हिच वाज रिसेंटली आस्क्ड इन अ पेटीएम इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सो लेट अस नाउ लुक एट द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट द नेम ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इज इवन एंड ऑड हियर वी आर गिवन एन अरे ऑफ साइज एन कंटेनिंग इक्वल नंबर ऑफ ऑड एंड इवन नंबर्स वी हैव टू अरेंज द नंबर्स इन सच अ वे दैट ऑल द इवन नंबर्स गेट द इवन इंडेक्स एंड ऑड नंबर्स गेट द ऑड इंडेक्स सो वी आर गिवन एन अरे ऑफ इंटीजर्स व्हिच इज हैविंग एन इंटीजर्स and we have to rearrange the array in such a manner that all the odd elements occur at the odd indices and all the even elements occur at the even indices so let us now look at some of the temp sample test cases to understand what does it mean so here in the first sample test case we are given n is equal to 6 that is the size of the integer array and in the next line we are given the array elements that is 3 6 12 1 5 and 8 one more thing we have to notice here is that we are said that we have to always work with zero based indexing that means the initial index of the array will be zero and the last element will be having index n minus 1 where n is the size of this integer array so now let us look what is the output here we are given the size of the array that is 6 and in the next line we are given the integers that is 3 6 12 1 5 and 8 so as we can see that we can rearrange this array such that all the odd elements occur at the odd indices and all the even elements occur at the even indices so let us now look at the explanation as here we can see that we can rearrange this array such that all the odd elements occur at the odd indices and all the even element occur at the even indices because the final rearranged array is 6 3 12 1 8 and 5 the all the even elements occur at the even indices as 6 is at the zeroth index 12 is at the second index 8 is at the fourth index similarly for the odd elements 3 occurs at the first index 1 occur at the third index and 5 occur at the fifth index so therefore it is possible to re rearrange the array as it is asked so let us now look at the solution of the above discussed problem so in this solution we will first of all create an array of size n so here is this array or the extra array that we have created which will be our final answer array and we will put the element while traversing the original array what we will do is that we will traverse the original array and put the elements according to whether the element is odd or even if the element is odd then we will put the element at the odd index and if the element is even then we will put the element at the even index the odd and even index will be checked by the two pointers that we have took odd and even odd is initialized to 1 because the first odd pointer is 1 and the first even pointer is 0 so let us now look how it will work first of all our first element is 3 which is an odd element therefore we will put 3 at the first odd index that is 1 so 3 will come here similarly in our next iteration 6 is an even element therefore 6 will come at the even index that is 0 so 6 will come here now at after every iteration we will increment the odd and the even pointer so so that they can point to the next empty space in the newly created array so after the first odd place is been filled we will increment the odd pointer by 2 because the next odd empty space will be 3 that is 1 plus 2 3 therefore in the next iteration odd will be incremented by 2 similarly even will also be incremented by 2 for the next empty space to be filled in the newly answer array so similarly we will fill up the complete answer array So this will how our final answer array will look. So now let us discuss the time complexity and the space complexity of this solution. As we can see that we will traverse the original array only once. Therefore, the time complexity will be big O of n. Similarly, we have created a we have created a new array of size n. Therefore, the space complexity will be n. In the currently discussed solution, we can see that the time complexity was big O of n and the space complexity was to big O of n. But we can see that the expected auxiliary space is big O of n. So we can improve our current solution to be big O of one space.
So let us now look how we will do that. Let me create the original array once again. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 5 and 8. So now in this solution as discussed we will have odd pointer initialized as 1 and even pointer will initialize to 0. So now we can see that even is pointing to 0th index and odd is pointing to first odd index that is 1. So as we can see that even is pointing to at even index but the even at the element at the even index is odd therefore we will come out of the loop. Similarly when we will traverse the loop for odd pointer we can see that the element at the first odd pointer is even therefore in this case too we will come out of the loop and we will swap these elements. So our new array will look like this. Now after we are done with the first swapping we will increment the odd and the even pointer by 2 because in the consecutive odd and even pointer there will always be a gap of 2. So therefore now our even pointer will be pointing at 12 and our odd element will be pointing at 1. Now in the next iteration we can see that the even pointer is pointing to an even element and the odd pointer is pointing to an index which is odd. Therefore, we will increment the pointer by 2 and we will reach here. Similarly, the odd will point to a element number 8. So now in the next iteration, this condition is not satisfied. Therefore, we will again swap the elements. So therefore, our final array will look like this. Now as we can see that this is our final answer. So this is the fast and efficient algorithm in which we are using only swapping instead of using O of n, sp o of n space as the previous solution. So now we will look at both these code and their implementation. So this is the practice website of GFG where you can submit many interviews, interview questions asked earlier. So this is the problem statement we saw earlier and the link to this problem statement will be attached in the description. So let us now one by one submit the solutions we studied earlier. So now as discussed earlier, first of all we will take two pointers that is even which will be initialized to one and another pointer even which will be initialized to 0. Now we will be creating an another array of size n which is the size of the given integer array and now we will traverse the original array as discussed earlier and we will check whether the current element we are pointing at in the original array is odd or even. If this is odd then we will put the current element in the new array at its even pointer and we will increment the even pointer by 2 because whenever we will be reaching at the next even element we have to put in the next even space. Similarly, we will be doing for the odd element. Now, as we can see that we have done the above code 
but we have to we have to make changes in the original array therefore we will put the new array elements into the original array elements therefore we will copy the elements of the newly created or the rearranged array into the original array so this is how the code will look of the first approach where we are creating a new array of size n so let us now compile it so here is the input and output is one because we can rearrange the array such that odd element occur at the odd index and even element can occur at the even indices let us now submit this approach so as we can see that our answer is submitted but the execution time was this and the actual execution time was this but it is earlier mentioned in the question that we have to submit this question in bigo of one space so let us now look the new approach so now as discussed earlier we will again keep an odd pointer which will be initialized to 1 and even which will be initialized to 0 now we will traverse the array and make swapping till our even or the odd pointer reaches the end of the array so while our even pointer is less than n that is the final index and the element at the even pointer is 0 so and if this condition is satisfied we will be increasing our even pointer by 2 similarly we will be doing the above same condition for odd pointer also while odd is less than the last index of the array and till we are getting odd element at odd indices if this condition is met then we will increment our odd pointer so now the condition we are going to write now is the most crucial condition of this while loop because in this condition we will be deciding when to exit this while loop so as discussed earlier if our even pointer becomes equal to the or greater than the n then or if the odd pointer becomes equal to or greater than n then we will break this loop and now after this is done if this if the both above conditions are not satisfied then we will swap the element so this is how our final code will look so let us now compile it So now as we can see that we have not used any extra space instead of it we are swapping the elements when this condition is not met. I hope you have enjoyed and understood this video completely. If you still have any queries you can comment it down. Stay tuned for more recently asked interview questions in the product based companies. Thank you.